Pay attention to three things when memorizing a chunk of text. Sound, rhythm, and meaning. In this video, I will cover the sound, including rhyme, rhythm, and meaning of the first six-line chunk of Chesterton's Lepanto. Getting to know these quite well is your first step toward memorizing this chunk. The first stanza of Lepanto is 14 lines long, but for now, we will focus on memorizing the first six lines. Here they are. White founts falling in the courts of the sun, and the soldan of Byzantium is smiling as they run. There is laughter like the fountains in that face of all men feared. It stirs the forest darkness, the darkness of his beard. It curls the blood-red crescent, the crescent of his lips, for the inmost sea of all the earth is shaken with his ships. Let's take a look at the sound patterns in these lines. First and most obvious, we have the line-ending rhymes. Sun, run, feared, beard, lips, ships. These make for easy memorization, but they are not all we should notice about sound. There are also frequent hissing S sounds. Founts, quartz, sun, that's three in the first line alone. We also have a lot of F sounds. Founts, falling, laughter, fountains, face. Noticing these can help you as you do your repetitions. They can serve as landmarks on your way through the text, and perhaps help you remember if you are ever half doubtful about what comes next. There are a lot of hissing S and F sounds in this first chunk. We also hear some repeated vowel sounds. Long I in the first and second lines, white and smiling. Quartz forest in the first and fourth lines, and face shaken near the ends of lines 3 and 6. Noticing these helps you get familiar with the poem and may give you an idea of why it is structured the way it is. Next, let's take a look at the rhythm of these lines. This time, listen for the natural stresses in my voice and the stress and pause points suggested by the language itself. White founts falling in the courts of the sun, and the soldan of Byzantium is smiling as they run. There is laughter like the fountains in that face of all men feared. It stirs the forest darkness, the darkness of his beard. It curls the blood-red crescent, the crescent of his lips, for the inmost sea of all the earth is shaken with his ships. The first thing I notice is the three stressed beats at the start of line one, white founts falling. There seems to be no more natural stress on any one of those syllables than on the other two. This reminds me of three regular beats of a bass drum commanding the listener's attention, white founts falling. Let's listen again to the rhythm of line one. White founts falling in the courts of the sun. Calling stressed syllables strong and unstressed syllables weak, this is what I hear. White founts falling in the courts of the sun. Strong, 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 weak, 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 strong, weak, weak, strong. If we attach the ing of falling onto the end of fall as a sort of half-syllable afterthought, then we have three groups of three syllables here. The first is strong, 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 and the others weak, weak, strong, or anapests. We could break it up that way for easy memorization. White founts falling in the courts of the sun. Strong, 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 weak, 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 strong, weak, weak, strong. Let's take a look at the second line with the same strong, weak pattern in mind. And the soldan of Byzantium is smiling as they run. And the soldan of Byzantium is smiling as they run. Weak, weak, strong, weak, 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 strong, weak, 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 strong. This continues the pattern from the end of line one, this time with three anapests, if you allow me to cheat a bit by counting solden and smiling as one strong syllable plus a half syllable. I won't map out the patterns in lines three through six, but here are the stress points. Laugh, found, face, feared, stirs, dark, dark, beard, curls, cre, cre, lips, in, earth, shake, ships. Finding these natural stress patterns can help you pronounce the poem more meaningfully and help you learn it well enough to recall it at will. 
Lastly, let's take a look at the meaning of these six lines. What is happening here? We should understand the narrative of the poem and how these lines establish and advance it. The court of the sun, with its white fountains, is the palace of the Sultan Selim II. The Sultan, Soldan, in Chesterton's poetic expression, is smiling because he contemplates the defeat of the Christian naval forces and the conquest of the Italian mainland. Chesterton dwells on the laughter in the Sultan's smiling face and describes his lips as a crescent, bringing to mind the crescent symbol of Islam. The reason for this smile is given in the sixth line, his fleet dominates the Mediterranean, the inmost sea, and victory seems close. Knowing the meaning of these lines will help with the transition to the next chunk. Line 7 begins, they have dared, they being the sultan's ships. The thought of the ships at the end of this chunk should naturally bring to mind the description of the ships at the start of the next chunk. We will discuss the sound, rhythm, and meaning of the next chunk of the first stanza of Lepanto in another video. Thanks for watching today. Goodbye.